All of Drift's unique time signature and phase shifting capabilities can sometimes lead to a sweet chaos that might need some additional consistency in order to assume a proper musical identity. This is where the HS or Hard Sync button comes into play. By activating the hard sync, each playhead's phase is going to reset by syncing to an extra invisible master phase with a fixed rate of 1.0 and the length matching the entire sequence duration. This means that, regardless of each playhead's cycle length, they're all going to restart at the same time. Of course, phase shifting is also going to play a major role here, allowing for interesting, weird yet consistent interceptions to be created. Now that we know everything about writing sequences and controlling Dreve's playheads, it is the right time to talk about MIDI routing. We can access the routing configuration by clicking on the route label on the rightmost side of the device. This will open the routing window. Here you can see all of the four playheads at once and their respective routing destination. Driv has an internal routing system that works together with the Driv receiver device included in the Driv's installation pack. The way this works is pretty simple. By default, Driv outputs all of its four playheads through the master output, which is essentially the same track where Driv is located. But it can also send each playhead out to one of four different auxiliary outputs. By clicking on the central node, we can disconnect the selected playhead from the main output and send it off to one of the four auxiliary outputs by selecting the desired channel number. Notice how the interface grays out when a playhead's output is routed to an external output, making it easier to quickly read the overall configuration. In order to make this work, we need to place the Drive receiver device on the desired MIDI track and match the auxiliary channel number we want to receive the playhead's MIDI from. Please note that there is no limit to the amount of playheads that a single channel can receive, as well as no limit to the number of Drive receivers capable of reading from the same channel. This allows for all kinds of different routing configurations, going all the way from paired playheads outputs to a single playhead to multiple instruments. to four playheads to four different outputs, and so on. Using this simple yet flexible routing system allows to easily control different virtual instruments and hardware gears alike, by taking advantage of Live's MIDI routing interface.